Welcome back to the Hope Streams podcast with Stephen and Crystal Wade. I am, of course, Stephen. And across the table from me is my lovely bride, Crystal. And uh, how are you today? Happy to be here. You're so happy to be here. Well, I'm happy that you're here too. Well, thank and, you. Yes. And then I'm happy that our listeners are listening in. And um, I hope this podcast is refreshing, inspiring. And maybe a little entertaining. So what uh, what's the topic of today? The update on spirit language. This just in. This just in. <laughs> this just in. So we had talked before about us learning the spirit language from the Father because his native language is spirit and truth. And a lot of our frustration in our our spiritual life, which we are actually spirit. So our life is spiritual. So in our life, a lot of frustration comes from a, a, a language discrepancy. We have a breakdown in the interpretation. And so we had talked about learning spirit language from, you know, what does the father mean by this and learning and growing in that. Well, the other side of that, the father just was like, hey, to me, <laughs> that there's a different side. And the the different side is that he is speaking our language too. And we can definitely see this in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. When he came, he was talking about flowers and birds and harvest and farmers and all the different things that people would understand. Well, he, he never stopped doing that. He's still speaking to us in our language, in things that we understand. And I, I have a, a funny dream uh, story. I was asking the father to give revelation on a situation and I, I was going, working on family issues, still working on cleaning up the generational line. And, and I had a question, was at a stuck point as a, a friend brought up something I needed to look at. And so I was asking the father and I had a dream that, that there were these coffee mugs and on the coffee mugs were pictures. And then he gave me the name of a place and that brought together different points of, so he was answering my question in a dream, but the play on words as he spoke my language of English was the coffee mugs with the pictures. It was a mug shot. <laughs> so he was speaking my language. And then there was a time we were going on and, and actually there was some additional stress that you, you were feeling. And the father gave one of our sons this dream and in the dream, he shared it with us. And it I was so glad that you know, it wasn't one of those that they have and don't tell you about for a while. So he told us right then, he remembered, and he saw a string with buttons on it. And I think there was this guy in the dream. I'm not 100% sure of the details. I know that there was a string and a button and there was some guy in there somewhere. And as we were talking about this with him, the light of God just shined and we realized that there was a strategy against you and your additional stress was coming from a strategy outside of you that was pulling your buttons and pushing your, pulling your string and pushing your buttons. I had that backwards. <laughs> and that was a play on words. And the father gave, we prayed through it that day. It shifted. Everything shifted that day through that dream. Yeah, I just... What do we pray? We cut, cut the strings cut and the strings, pull out those buttons. Pull out the buttons. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and then I had, a, I was learning, uh, is learning curve here, to because I I really you know want to do what the the father wants me to do, and that hasn't always been uh, easy because we have our our flesh and other things to deal with. And so there was an opportunity and I really wanted to jump in because I thought, you know, that's what the father wanted me to, to do. And, but I didn't want to jump in if he didn't want me to, I wasn't hundred percent sure. So I just prayed, Oh 
please, please show me, and please don't delay. Please show me now. I had a dream that night, and I was putting on my shoes, my tennis shoes, and I was shoving them on, shoving them on, shoving them on. And whatever I do, I can't get the two shoes on. I pick them up and I look at them, and there's two left shoes. And when I woke up, I realized he had answered me in the dream, and it was another play on words that I had two left shoes. It wasn't the right one. So thankfully, <laughs> I got the message. He, he spoke in my language. I was able to decipher it, got the message, and didn't jump into that particular assignment because it wasn't mine, even though I, th- I was willing to do it. And I thought he wanted me to do it. But I've also realized that we take a lot of stress and trouble on ourselves and our families if we do take an assignment that he's not calling us to do. So I didn't want to do that. And I didn't know what to do. And he answered me in that, that prayer in the dream with a play on words. So he speaks our language. He does speak our language. And and I think originally on the original podcast from a couple of episodes back, it was trying to give language to the fact that sometimes we sense God saying something and we're interpreting the spiritual side of things or the bigger picture. Like sometimes God will give you an insight to kind of what your calling is or what you're drawn to. And sometimes the only way we can describe the heavenly things is with our earthly words. Right. And that's kind of what started just to refresh our, our listeners the conversation of a couple of episodes ago on, the, on that, because sometimes we will get, I know I do, I'll get, was it tunnel vision or maybe narrow mindedness? I, I'm not for sure. I'll get to looking at this one thing because I think that is the piece that that's going to fit in the, the, in the square, you know, the round peg and the round hole. And right. I think that's what it is, but sometimes we just got to have God to help shift our perspective. Um, and then realize that actually we got to turn that round thing sideways and it makes more of a rectangle and they're and it's supposed to fit in a rectangle hole. Anyways, I, I'm digressing, but I just wanted to kind of touch base on that is that sometimes we're trying to use our earthly language to describe something that's either in our spirit or something that's, that's heavenly. Right. And there could be a little bit of a disconnect, but on the, this side, you're going on the other side of that corn is the coin is to say that from what I'm understanding you too, is that he also speaks very much in our language and usually a little bit with a, a play on words. Yes. Many times, not all the time, but yeah. And that, that, that's helpful because he knows our humanity, Mm -hmm. you know, um, I think that's really refreshing to know that he knows our humanity and, and he's not untouchable. Yes. I mean, that's the whole point, you know, of why Jesus came to earth is to have that interaction and that relationship with him. So being able to communicate is very much key. And just realizing, you know, giving yourself some latitude there to realize, okay, what am I sensing? Is this actually what my earthly interpretation is? Or is this something bigger? And this is just a description of it. Yes. And then otherwise, you know, the mug shot, you know, or in the coffee, you know, sometimes I know we'll have dreams and we'll think this is what it was. And sometimes we're thinking, I know I do, I'll sit there and think specifically, this is what it is. And it's not until I'm like trying to describe it to right. you or to someone else. I realize, oh, I get it now. Mug shot, pictures on a coffee mug, what have you. So. Exactly. Well, that's all I have. Um, I'd like to pray if that's okay. Yes, please do. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, I thank you that you don't make yourself unapproachable. You make yourself approachable as you showed us the face of the Father in the face of Jesus Christ, that Jesus is the exact representation of you, and you sent your Holy Spirit to help us on the journey until we're reunited with you. And so, Father, I thank you that you are speaking the language to every one of of your people. You are speaking. And so, Father, I pray that you would give them eyes to see, ears to hear, hearts to understand, 
peace, grace, and mercy, that they would be able, they would have the desire and the remembrance to be able to write down their dreams and things that stand out to them through the day. And that, Father, that you would give grace and speed for them to be able to understand and get what you're saying. So sometimes you don't get mugshot the first time when you write that down, but coming back to it later. So I pray that you would speed that process so they would see your very intentional, loving, and gracious work to speak their language and and to come that they would know, hey, the Father loves me. He did all this to speak to me. So Father, I pray that they would know your love in much deeper ways, much faster as a result of of re- realizing and recognizing that you are speaking to them in their language and even the plays on words. So Father, I pray that you would restore and do much more in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And thank you for joining us today. And we'll be back on our next episode shortly. <laughs>